friends, today I'm doing a vlog. I am currently on my way to Ikea. By the time you guys are seeing this vlog, I will be moved up into New York. So that's why we're going to Ikea today. My mom is here with me. Hi! <laughs> Where I live, the Ikea that we're going to is like a little mini road trip away. So we have been driving this morning uh, and listening to a podcast. We were listening to... The Pivot, it's called, and the episode that we were listening to is with Sally Lloyd Jones, and I highly recommend it. It's kind of about creative people, and like, it's a sort of the premises that he has found. Um, I forget the host of it right now. Is it Andrew Osega? I think. I do not know. He has found that every creative person at some point in their lives pivots, and um, whether that's they pivot and then they find success, or even you know, after having. first episode I had listened to and I found it super super helpful it's just nice to hear from creative people like Sally Lloyd Jones is an adult further on in her life so she has so much wisdom as someone who's like gone through the whole oh wow I'm so bright with the honey girl can I finish my sentence <laughs> Anyways, it's just nice to hear from people who have careers as creative people and like hear the wisdom and the things that they've learned along the process of that. They've worked to get to where they are, but just also like what they've learned about being a creative person in the creative process. I found it very, very encouraging uh, and I highly recommend. So now we're going to Target. That is our first stop. I have one more thing to say about the podcast. Oh, go ahead. I love that every person's journey is so different. Yeah. There's no like, oh, this is the one way that it happens. Yep. There's no, it's not like that. And it, yeah. it helps to undo that. Yeah, which is super encouraging because then it's like, you know that there's not a key to success and you have to like figure it out and follow the right way. Right. Yep. So anyways, now we're going to Target. Are we like halfway to Ikea or? Oh, yeah. I think over halfway? Yeah, way over. We're like 75% of the way there. Okay. So we're stopping at Target first. I'm gonna look for mirrors, um, and we'll probably like get food and stuff, and then we will continue on to Ikea. Yay. Oh no, D hi, yay. <laughs> it's, it's oh, Don Pablo. <laughs> no. I know, you guys love the dough. I used to go here when I was a kid. On Instagram I saw, someone had this like written on their letterboard, it said, I followed my heart and I ended up at Target. <laughs> Picking up sheets. Yeah, that's a great thing. We love that. Even better than organic. These are the ones that I'm getting. The lello. I want to go to Cloud Island. I can't decide which one I want. This one, which lights up, or this one, which is kind of prettier. Hmm. very successful I got yellow sheep which is what I wanted but I wasn't sure if I was gonna get that and now we're gonna go get food did you fix your hair yeah <laughs> Should we talk about our Ikea tricks and tips? No. Sure. <laughs> I know the first one is, well, let's start with small ones. Water. Have water yes. with you. Coffee. Also have coffee with you. <laughs> Caffeine is important. Yes. Um, chocolate, did you say chocolate? Oh, chocolate, that too, that's a good one. <laughs> but actually, one of the things that we did that I am very thankful that we did is that before we came, instead of just like knowing a list of what we need in general, we actually like looked on the website for the specific things. So now we have like a list of like, I want this uh, desk and like this organize -y thing down to even like little stuff like laundry baskets and whatnot. Yeah. Because if you're like me and you get decision fatigue, <laughs> that helps a lot. Is that an HSP thing or is that just a me thing? No, decision fatigue is, um, well, decision fatigue is a universal 
thing. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a different threshold. Yeah. But I think for an HSP, going to a place like Ikea is... Very overwhelming. You're already overwhelmed. You're already fatigued. Yeah, I'm already fatigued. We haven't even gotten yet. I'm kidding. I love Ikea. <laughs> but also, there's a lot of people here. <laughs> Let's see. I feel like I had another tip, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, and on the website you can make the shopping list and it tells yes. you the inventory and it prints it out for you. Yeah, it's yeah. Real, real handy dandy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean like I like wear comfy shoes. I feel like everyone would do that when you come to Ikea though. So let's just recap. Food, chocolate, coffee, <laughs> water. Yes, <laughs> water. I've definitely never been to this Ikea before. Nope. So cute. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get that one. Oh, look, where's my hat? What's for dinner, Emma? This is actually a really cute kitchen. Very this is my favorite blanket in the world, except mine is pink. Highly recommend, 10 out of 10. Well, wow, this lighting is just the worst ever. Oh, that's a little better. Here we go. Get all the germs, Emma. Get <laughs> them You feel like it's what? <laughs> yes. Playing the Friends theme song right now really loud, so I don't know if you can hear me. The warehouse smells like Cinnabons. <laughs> it's snowing. Look at this pink stuff on the ground. I would just like to point out that my mom and I did this all by, our, by ourselves. We are very tired, yes, but we did it. Every woman. <laughs> Should I turn on this light? Whoa. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. We are going into Target. Why are we going into Target, Mom? Treats, candy. <laughs> We're a little bit exhausted, as is normal for any IKEA day. So before we drive home, because it is a little bit of a drive, we're going to go get treats. Uh, yeah, that's uh it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was loud. <laughs> you almost done over there. Hello everyone. I'm now in New York City. It has been a couple days since we went to IKEA and now I'm going to put together some of the things that we got at IKEA. I'm a little bit sick, so I'm not going to do much talking in this vlog, I don't think. But uh what was the other thing I wanted to say? Blah, 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 blah. But I will set you up in the corner while I build IKEA furniture and put my books on my bookshelf probably and I'm not gonna show you completely my apartment. I was trying to get it to fly up in the air in the back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. 
I will give you guys like a full tour of my apartment later in a later video, but for now, I'm just going to vlog the process, the moving process, the building process, the in-between process when it still like almost looks like a room, but kind of also doesn't look like a room. So this morning, I put together this cute little cart that's gonna be my bedside table. It was really easy, very simple. Uh, and then this is my bed, which is the same as my bed that I had back home. And then here's a little lap table-y thing with all of my sick essentials on it, including Lord of Shadows that I was reading this morning. What else? My mirror's over there. Look, there's my mom. Boop, 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 boop. Oh. <laughs> my mirror's over there. My mom is working on a huge project that's gonna be like my organizational thingy. Yep, she's the boss. And then kitchen table's over there. There's a little couch, and that's pretty much it. Everything else is still in boxes. I also put together like my closet organizational thing and my laundry hamper. But more importantly, look at this. Ta-da! It is automatic, so fancy. While we build furniture, we're gonna listen to the Popcast, which is a podcast. Basically, they cover pop culture things, and we are listening to the episodes on The Bachelor. Not that we watch The Bachelor. <laughs> Who would do that? <laughs> it's just funny to listen to Knox and Jamie talk about The Bachelor because they're funny. That's what we're gonna do while we build things. Let's go. update you on this bookshelf it looks great right looks good looks good looks good except um for that <laughs> I may or may not have put on one of the pieces backwards but the doors are gonna cover it so should be okay now I'm gonna take a break I probably won't put the books on till tomorrow so it is possible that you will not see me till then hello my friends oh my voice <coughs> excuse me Hello, so it has been a couple days since I updated this vlog. However, my original plan with this vlog was to like take you through the whole process of Ikea and putting together my stuff and organizing my bookshelf. And then I got very sick. As you might be able to tell from my voice, I don't know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling loads better, but I still kind of sound sick, but like, sometimes it doesn't come through on the camera. So anyways, uh, I may or may not <laughs> have put together and organized my bookshelf while I had a fever. So I did not film that. <laughs> so I thought to end this vlog, I would just give you a tour of how it's coming along. I do intend to do a full on room slash apartment tour once everything is totally set up. So that will be coming probably next month. But in the meantime, I thought I would just give you a little update on how things are going. I don't have a ton left to do. All my clothes are unpacked. The only things that are like still packed is my camera equipment and like the 10,000 tote bags that I own. <laughs> So anyways, let's do a little tour. Should we start over here by my bookshelf? It looks so cute. I'm so excited about it. So my bookshelf is from Ikea, of course. It is the Billy bookshelf, but I got the glass doors that go on it. I'd seen some like this on Pinterest and such with glass doors like that, and I just loved it and thought it was like really cute. So that's what I did. This organization will of course change as I get more books. I brought the minimal amount of books that I could so that I would have room for the ones I'm going to buy. You can see my tiny little manga section over there and then I like spread these out to cover up the space. These are books that I want to read soon. This one's covering some of them up, but there's some more over there. A little Harry Potter slash like magical green things that I love. Uh, some faves that I've already read slash I'm in the middle of reading. I've got my beautiful Bible editions and some other like journaly type books. Nonfiction down here, some poetry and stuff, comics and things that are very large. <laughs> and then my Nook 10 is down there in my little book buddy. 
I will probably do a longer, like more detailed bookshelf tour when I do my room tour. I think I'll just combine that since it's not too much in this bookshelf. My goal with the apartment is to like only ever fill this bookshelf and my side table. Like I got rid of a ton of books when I came to New York City. Thank you Marie Kondo. <laughs> New York apartments are small and there's just not a ton of room for books. As much as I love collecting books, it tends to make me feel happier when my space is minimal and clean. I will either be like unhauling books as I read them or bringing them back down home, dropping them off, freeing up space here. So my goal is to like only have this bookshelf. I don't know, we'll see what happens. I also have my pin collection on this little flag that I ordered from Amazon and this was something that one of you guys recommended to me. I think I asked about like how you organize your pins and somebody Instagram messaged me and said that this was how you do it. So thank you so much because I love this. It's now become like a part of my decoration and you can see all my pins. It also showed me that I don't have too many pins like I thought I did because I still have room and now I have been freed up to buy more. Haha. -ha. Next to my bookshelf, oh, there's Pikachu up there. I have a little desk and like study area, journal area slash get ready in the morning area. All of this is from Ikea as well, except for my mirror that is from Home Goods. But the desk, chair, the drawers, that little mirror over there. I think even this wire board that I got is from Ikea. So I got all of that the other day when we were shopping. This chair is super spinny. This is not totally finished. I might rearrange it because I'm gonna get some things to like help organize a bit. So I might move my K-pop albums, but for now my K-pop albums are sitting here with my little speaker that I should probably turn off. And then I have this little board that is filling up what my memory wall back home did. So you will probably recognize some of these things. They were all hanging on my wall that I used to film in front of back home. My little jar of pens that I use, my faves, these things from Home Goods to hold my vast scrunchy collection <laughs> and all my rings and stuff. I got this little guy at Comic Con this year. And then my salt lamp is over there on the desk. You can see like some leftovers from what I was doing this morning. My makeup and drinking water. And then I got a mirror for like doing my makeup. I kind of moved this over onto my desk when I'm getting ready in the morning. Hello. And I got this little set of drawers because my desk only has like the three very small ones. So in here is all of my washi tape, pens, stationery slash stickers, more stationery, journaling things, more stickers, stamps, Polaroid stuff, cards, more stickers, <laughs> and empty journals that I am not thinking I will use particularly soon. So that's just for like stuff I use more every day. Again, I'm trying to be really minimal in this apartment and only have the stuff that I actually use with me on hand and I'm loving it. It was so fun to like put everything away in this set of drawers and like see that everything that I had in there was something that I love. So exciting. And then I've got my cute little mint colored chair. There's also a rug over here. Uh, that kind of like ties together the colors and such. Moving on, we have my little bed area, which you have not seen as much on social media because I still have some boxes and things. That lamp is not mine, it is not staying there. I've not decorated the wall yet. And my comforter cover is currently being cleaned. So there's just some work that has left to go <laughs> into this area. But I have this little organizer thing that's kind of working as a room separator because over there is like kitchen, living room space. And then this is working to like store all my stuff and then also separate the room a little bit. My bed is actually the same one that I had back home so I didn't buy that on this trip but I did get it from Ikea. You can see also again what I was doing this morning. And then, can you guys see me? It's a little dark, should I turn around? There we go. And then this little organizer thing, again, it's like a work in progress but this is one of those Ikea ones that you can build yourself so each section is separate and I like picked what I wanted. Drawers up here, a little four square of uh, like empty things for storage. This one is like four shelves just like that except covered where all my PJs go. And then there's more drawers. Whoops, that's my underwear. And then there are more drawers on the bottom. So yeah, in here I've got like some jewelry and stuff. This is not organized yet. These are full journals, empty journals, my 
in stacks that I decorated myself. Some little cutesy books and things, sweatshirts, scarves. It's really not done yet. I will show it once it is done. <laughs> yeah, and then the only other little details are like the windows over here. I have prism that like makes rainbows in the room. And over here on this one is my little plant, Saka. Whoops, almost just broke his house. So that's pretty much it for, for now, for my little room tour. Again, I will actually give you guys like a room New York City apartment tour type thing in my bob once it's more set up. But it's only been a couple days, a week since I came up to the city, so. <laughs> so yes, it's been so, so fun to decorate a new space. I haven't done that in years since I moved into the house I was living in before, and I just love it so much. It's like so fun to be able to take the things I already had and reorganize them into a completely new way, and then also like get new things and having a fresh space. I've just been full of inspiration. I'm so excited to make videos, to have my month of videos coming up. Thank you all so much for all of your messages on social media. You have all, as always, been the most supportive and just like so sweet how excited you are for me. I'm obviously super excited. <laughs> Yeah, moving to New York has been a dream of mine for a long time. I lived here for a couple months when I was a teenager as like a temporary thing, but I've just loved the city my whole life. And now I get to live here indefinitely, permanently slash indefinitely. And that is just wild. It has been literally a dream come true. <laughs> and I've been so, so happy. So I just wanted to thank you guys for being happy with me. It's so sweet, encouraging, strengthening. I love you all so much. I am going to be doing a Q&A soon, but I haven't decided if I'm gonna like separate moving Q&A with regular old Q&A, so I might do that. So if you have any specific questions about moving out of home for the first time, living on your own, living in a city, anything like that moving related slash New York City related, feel free to leave them down in the comments because I will be doing a Q&A soon. And I would love to hear what you guys want to hear about. I hope that you're having a lovely day or night or afternoon, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, whether you are moving or staying still, whether you are growing or in a period of sleeping, and I will see you in my next video.